How would it feel to be able to get more leads so you can buy more devices on a daily basis? Guys, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Chris Schroeder. I help people start, grow, and scale their phone flipping or buyback businesses to 5,000, to 10,000, to 15,000. We create six-figure flippers, okay? So if you haven't heard of me, it's probably because I'm kind of underground and I teach a very specific skill set. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. All right, so um, first thing I want to lay out here, um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get more leads uh, for buying devices. And I'm gonna walk you guys through a framework that uh, I'm working on uh, that I really want some feedback on. So definitely comment in the comments and let me know what you guys think. So let's get started. So most of you are probably right here. You got, you're either getting very little devices or no devices. And you want to be here where you're getting more devices on a daily basis, right? So here's what you need to know. Big idea. More leads equals more devices. Shocker. <laughs> so let's talk about it. how do you get more leads for your buyback business, for your phone flipping business, for your electronics reselling business? How do you get more leads? Well, there's only really like eight different ways where you can get leads. There's a lot of places you can get leads from. But we're gonna talk about the many different ways where you can get them. Um, and we're gonna start here with the core four, okay? So this is what I call like the side hustle core four method to get leads on a daily basis so that you can uh, you know, either get out of your job or create you know, an extra two to $3,000 a month in profit or more, okay? So the first one here is reach outs. So what are reach outs? So reach outs are simply just DMing people on Facebook Marketplace, on OfferUp, on Craigslist. And that's what, uh, that's the first step. This is where most people start. And this is where you guys are gonna see a lot of these other YouTube guys teaching because this is all they do because that's all they know, okay? So reach outs, however, can be very profitable if you know how to do them correctly and you put up the volume, okay? So what do I mean by volume? I mean doing it a lot, all right? Um, anything that you do in life, you have to do a lot to get good at it, okay? So, but with reach outs, what we recommend is 20 per day. So this is 20 reach outs, 20 offers per day on devices that are already on the marketplace that people are looking to sell. Your closing ratio in the beginning will be low. It'll probably be less than 5%. What does that mean? You're probably gonna get less than five devices out of 100, okay? And that's okay, because in the beginning, all you got is time most of the time, all right? So, um, 20 reach outs a day is definitely what we recommend. This is phase one of getting started, okay? So 20 reach outs a day. If you can do that, you're starting your side hustle. This is where most people start, so start there, okay? Now, if you wanna take it up a notch, you can actually start doing what we call paid ads. What is a paid ad? A paid ad is a ad that you pay for that shows up on either Facebook or Google or Instagram that shows somebody that you buy electronics and that you want to buy their stuff. And uh, Facebook is called interruption marketing where you're basically interrupting their newsfeed as they're scrolling, right? Um, and then Google is more behavior-based, which it's a little bit more to set up as well. But behavior-based marketing is basically you're going after the certain keywords that they're searching for. So for example, if somebody types in sell my phone near me, you wanna be able to pop up and that's what a Google ad does, okay? Instagram is basically the same way uh, as Facebook. So that's paid ads. And this basically gets um, the people that are not willing to post their items on Marketplace, uh, this basically finds those people, okay? You're basically looking for the people that are too lazy to do it themselves and you're basically providing a service to them to give them cash uh, so that you know it's a lot easier on them. Uh, however, they take less money and that's usually how it happens. Now on this, you're going to close about one out of 10, especially from Facebook. On Google, it's more like 50%, okay? Both have their pros and cons, but um, in my opinion, Google is better just because they're better leads or ready to sell right away, okay? The next thing I wanna talk about is diversity. So being able to diversify what you buy is one of the most underrated skill sets when it comes to flipping devices. So for example, this is a, um, DJI Google Integra, so or Goggle Integra. So this is worth about $350. I bought it for $200. The reason I knew how to do that is because I know how to buy more than just phones. All right, so this is one example. And then we have things like Oculus Quests, okay? These are money, 
all right? And they're only money if you know how to find the money in them, okay? So we have a list of the top 10 electronics that we, uh, that we offer inside of our Recelerator program um, that helps you guys, you know, get diversified in what you buy. Because if you can buy more than just phones, it makes you a lot more, uh, number one, reputable, and it makes you a lot more valuable to the customer. Because for example, if you, let's say you close on this iPhone 12 Pro Max that I bought the other day, right? So this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I bought it. It's with at and I bought it for 200 um, Paid a little extra for it, but I wanted to earn her business in the future, but she also had other devices. So I closed on this deal and I asked her, I was like, what else do you have? Do you, I buy MacBooks, iPads, smartwatches, cameras. Do you have anything else that you might want to bring with you to sell? And she's like, yeah, I got an iPad and a smartwatch. And I was like, great, bring them with you. And boom, I just made more money because I knew how to buy more than just a phone. And I'm gonna make more off of those things than I am off of this phone, okay? So, and those were free. I didn't have to pay extra for that. Well, I mean, I paid extra for the devices, but I didn't pay extra for the lead. I got those items for free. Every upsell is a, basically a free, it's basically free money, which is beautiful. So getting diversified in what you can buy makes you incredibly valuable to your customers, all right? Now, moving on to negotiation. Now, a lot of people think they can negotiate, and most people can't. Uh, a lot of people do this. Um, how do I say this? Um, a lot of people think they can sell water to a fish, and most of the time, they can't sell anything. <laughs> now, in this game, we're not selling people. We're selling people on... We are kind of selling people, but we're selling people on getting cash from us. That's how this business works, okay? It's a very interesting way that it works uh, in terms of selling, but there is negotiation because you have to, a lot of the times, bring somebody down from where they think their item is to where you can purchase it, and then, then so you can sell it where it actually is worth something. A lot of people think that their device is worth a lot more um, than you know the market value, or because a lot of people aren't, educated on market value. Nobody knows what that is for the most part in modern day NPC world, right? So <clears throat> you have to be able to negotiate. There's only really a couple of things that I recommend on negotiation. And I really like to keep things incredibly simple. Um, I only ask what device do you have? What's wrong with it? Very rarely will I ask what carrier it's with. I usually like to, to save that one. Um, but the, the real game with negotiation is if you can um, ask more questions during the negotiation phase, you'll likely make more money and get more deals. A lot of people just make their offer and if somebody says no, then they, um, that's it, right? So, um, negotiation is definitely a key factor though in the core four. If you don't know how to negotiate, you're not gonna be able to get many deals. And the same thing goes with like the reach out part. If you don't know how to negotiate there, then you're gonna have a difficult time, all right? So this is the core four. This is where most people start and most people stay actually. Um, so, but reach outs, paid ads, diversity, negotiation. All of that is incredibly important, okay? This is where you gotta start. These are the, the skills you have to, to build. The next thing I wanna talk about here guys is, um, let me make sure you guys can see it, okay, cool. Is the scaling part. So this is where most people need help or maybe they don't, but this is where most people never get because they're either too scared to get their LLC or they don't want to turn this thing into a real business or they don't think it's a real business and they'd rather just get a job. It's, it's interesting how the dynamic works, but there's a couple, there's four specific things in the scaling part of this model that are super important. Okay. So the first one is Google my business. <clears throat> Google My Business is by far your most valuable asset outside of your phone numbers and emails in your business. And by phone numbers and emails, I mean the customer's phone numbers and emails, okay? Google My Business is an underrated asset that most people don't take enough time to build, okay? If you build it and you maintain it and you get reviews and you get photos with customers and you get these things, it will grow by itself and you will make money by default, okay? 
And the great thing about Google My Business is it's free. <laughs> you, you just have to get signed up for it, which sometimes requires an LLC and things like that. But you start getting free leads from it and it makes the business overall 10 times better, all right? Um, the next thing here is resellers. So other resellers, guys. There are so many other resellers most of the time in the markets or in the marketplace that <clears throat> you can reach out to and do business. Uh, I did a poll a while back and found out that most resellers do not sell on eBay and most don't sell to direct buyers. They don't even know what they are. Most resellers buy and sell locally. So if you're somebody who, number one, sells to direct buyers and sells on eBay, you can make a lot more money because you have more leverage than they do. So you can buy from them and make more money, okay? So reaching, and how do you find other resellers? Well, it's very easy. You go to Marketplace, you type in cash for phones, and you'll be able to find some resellers in your area, trust me. Um, so resellers. Stores. Stores are massively underrated, okay? So what does this, this include? This includes repair shops. Most repair shops don't sell online. Most repair shops don't sell at all. They just have a death pile in most of their repair shops um, or a profit pile that I like to call it. I bought, I bought out many repair shops before, um, you know, you're used and damaged and just parts, phones and things like that. And I just resold the stuff on eBay. So you can go into places like that. Pawn shops are another one. Retail stores like AT&T, Verizon and stuff like that. You can partner with their employees. I recently got a Google lead who was an AT&T guy. Uh, he was an employee, comes across phones all the time, right? And you can work with different places like these. And even if they don't buy phones, you can actually get them to send you deals, which is amazing. So how do you do this? Well, for example, I wor work with a pawn shop down the road and they don't buy phones, but what do they do? They send me people all the time, which is pretty cool, right? Because people go in there looking to sell their phone and basically I just get them to redirect them to me and then I buy their phone. It's great. So that's how you can work with stores. And then repeats and referrals. So repeats and referrals are massively important, okay? You need to be aiming to make at least $500 to $1,000 per repeat customer per year. I want you guys, whenever you meet up with a customer, you want to hopefully meet up with them again, okay? It's important. And the reason I say that is because this can become the bulk of your income over time, all right? And then referrals. Getting referrals from your customers is just as important. If you can turn almost every lead or customer into three customers, that makes them insanely valuable, okay? And that's how you scale and create positive word of mouth with your business, okay? So the best way to do this is whenever you meet up with them, start asking for referrals. It's like, hey, who do you know that's awesome like you who might also want to sell their devices and try to get a phone number, try to get a three-way text going, Try to, you know, something like that, all right? And if you guys can do that, you can grow your business without your consent. So <clears throat> this is my overview of everything. Um, and I hope you guys like it because I, I like it. Um, if you guys are looking for a way to um, implement this or you want some one-on-one -on -one guidance on how to implement this stuff in your business and like get a direct approach, exactly what to say, all of that stuff, all the good stuff, all the documents I have on all of this stuff, which are worth thousands of dollars. Um, make sure to, to, uh, to message me on Facebook or book a call or something. S send me an email at chris at resellingelectronicsforprofit.com. Let's talk. Um, and you know, I wanna help you guys scale your business and grow your business and make you bigger than what you are. And we got multiple ways that we can do that. Yes, this is a paid program, obviously. I don't work for free. Um, but I can guarantee you that we can double your business or triple your business in 90 days or less. And you guys can check out our testimonials to see if we can actually do that. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys uh, have a great day and looking forward to helping some of you guys scale your business. And I let me know your feedback on this little thing I made because I like it. <laughs>